Hello and welcome back to the Master Civil Engineering. In this video, you will learn that how to find the pressure head, elevation head and total head in the soil sample in case of the steady seepage condition. I have been given two questions. We have to find the pressure head, elevation head and total head at the entering and exit end and the point A of the sample for these two cases. Okay, both are steady seepage conditions. Okay, first uh, we will take the case A okay so for this case uh, we can find that the seepage in this case is in the downward direction as the total head at the entry end which is at the elevation of six meter it is greater than the total head at the exit end which is at the elevation of two meter so seepage in this condition will be in the downward direction okay it will flow in the downward direction let us uh, take a datum at this elevation of zero meter okay so first we are taking at elevation of 10 meter for this elevation of 10 meter elevation head it will be equal to 10 meter pressure head it will be equal to zero meter because uh, the water here is in contact with atmospheric pressure so pressure head at the elevation of 10 meter will be zero total head which is elevation head plus pressure head so 10 plus zero which is 10 meter uh, for the next elevation that is that the entry end which is at the elevation of six meter elevation head it will be equal to six meter okay uh, pressure head for this case uh, since uh, water has a height of four meter above this end so uh, pressure head is four meter okay total head is uh, elevation plus pressure which is six plus four which is ten meter this is the total head at entry end now coming uh, to the elevation of two meter which is the exit end of the soil sample okay so elevation head at this point is two meter uh, pressure head okay uh, uh, it is equal to minus two meter because uh, for the entry and the exit end of the sample the pressure head it can be directly established by the level of free water with uh, either of these ends is in the communication so here the exit end is in communication with elevation of two meter and uh, distance is uh, distance is 2 meter and it is in the downward direction so pressure head here is minus 2 meter so total head is equal to elevation head plus pressure head so 2 minus 2 which is 0 so you can see that exit end of the uh, uh, sorry at uh, the entry end of the soil sample uh, total head is 10 meter and at the exit end total head is 0 meter so head loss uh, from entry to the exit end is 10 minus 0 that is uh, 10 meter okay now at the elevation of 0 meter elevation head is 0 meter and pressure head is again 0 meter because water is in, in contact with the atmospheric pressure so total head at this end is also 0 okay so head loss which is the total head at entry minus total head at exit so 10 minus 0 this is equal to 10 meter is the total head loss in the soil sample that is from this entry end to the exit end okay now head loss up to point a head loss up to point a it will be the uh, uh, it uh, can be calculated using the theory of the proportions if the total head loss in the soil sample is 10 meters so head loss uh, from this entry end to the point a since the total length of the soil uh, sample is 4 meter and distance from entry end up to point a is 3 meters so head loss up to a will be 10 divided by 4 into 3 which is 7 point 5 meter okay so head loss up to point a is 7.5 meter so total head at point a it will be equal to the total head at entry end minus head loss up to a total head at entry end is 10 and head loss up to a is 7.5 so total head at a is 2.5 meter okay uh, so uh, at elevation of 3 meter that is point a elevation of point a that is elevation head is 3 meter total head which we calculated earlier it's 2.5 meters so pressure head at this end will be total head minus elevation head which is 2.5 minus 3 which is 0 0.5 meter we calculated total head first for the point a because uh, we can uh, we cannot calculate pressure head uh, for point a so we first have to calculate total head and uh, from this we have to subtract the elevation head to get the pressure head at point a okay now for the next uh, soil sample okay you can see for this case seepage will be in the upward direction because the total head at this point will be greater than total head at 
this point that is at elevation of 0 meter total head is greater than elevation of 4 meter so c page in this case is in the upward direction so again taking datum at elevation of 0 meter at elevation of uh, 0 meter entry and elevation head is 0 meter pressure head which is the uh, level of free water above point a which is 9 meter okay okay so pressure head is 9 meter so total head will be elevation plus pressure which is 9 meter now at elevation of 4 meter which is the exit end of the soil elevation head is will be 4 meter pressure head which is the height of water above this and which is 1 meter okay so pressure head is 1 meter total head is 4 plus 1 which is 5 meter again you can see total head at entry is 9 meter total head at exit is 5 meter so head loss will be 9 minus 1 4 meter will be the head loss through the soil sample okay so head loss total head at entry minus total head at exit which is 9 minus 5 which is 4 meter so head loss up to point a again it will be calculated using the theory of the proportion if the total length of soil sample is 4 meter total head loss in the soil sample is 4 meter and distance of point a from the entry end is 1 meter so head loss up to a will be 4 divided by 4 into 1 which is 1 meter okay at the elevation of 5 meter elevation head is 5 meter and pressure head is 0 because it is in contact with atmospheric pressure total head will be elevation plus pressure which is 5 plus 5 0 which is 5 meter total head at a will be total head at entry minus head loss up to a so again total head at entry is 9 meter head loss up to a is 1 meter so total head is at a is 8 meter okay because we cannot find pressure head at a so first we have to calculate the total head and from that subtract the elevation head to get the pressure head at a okay so elevation head of uh, point a it's uh, 1 meter okay total head which we calculated in the previous step as 8 meter so pressure head at uh, point a will be 8 minus 1 which is 7 meter okay so this is how you can calculate the pressure head elevation head and total head uh, in uh, the soil sample in case of steady seepage okay uh, for some points you can directly calculate the pressure head and elevation head but for uh, points in the soil sample you have to first calculate the head loss up to that point then calculate the total head at that point and from that subtract from total head elevation head to get the pressure head okay i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new if you found this video helpful you can subscribe to my channel like this video and share this video with your friends okay thanks for watching master civil engineering and stay tuned